Um, guys, let's bring up another story, too. Warren Buffett actually making some news over the weekend, announcing that Berkshire Hathaway has actually acquired a stake of slightly more than 5 percent in each of the five leading Japanese trading companies. Those companies are Itucho, uh, Itochu Corporation, Marubeni Corporation, Mitsubishi, Mitsui, and Sumitomo. Berkshire actually acquired those holdings over a roughly 12-month period through regular purchases on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Berkshire says that it intends to hold those investments for the long term and that it may actually increase the holdings of any of the companies to a maximum of 9.9 percent. However, Buffett said that he would not go above that threshold unless given specific approval by the trading company's boards of directors. This investment is a big one for Berkshire. A 5 percent stake in each of those companies would be valued at about six and a quarter billion dollars. And collectively, if you look at that as one bet, that puts his bet on Japan at about his seventh largest holding, just above Wells Fargo, based on the most recent regulatory filings. Uh, he's been selling Wells Fargo. We know that in the second quarter, he unloaded about 25 percent of the holdings that he had in that company, which has been a long term holding for his. And of course, his largest holding is Apple. That company is now valued his share his take in that company is now valued at about $90 billion. And uh, this all happened on his 90th birthday. So it just goes to show that he is constantly changing the way he thinks and changing the way he invests. He did say that this is uh, a bet. He's delighted to have Berkshire Hathaway participate in the future of Japan and the five companies that they've chosen for this investment. Those five major trading companies, by the way, um, are very crucial in Japan. They import everything from uh, food and textiles and energy into a country that is in, in, in scarce in resources. Uh, so they play a key role in a lot of those imports for this. He says that the five major trading companies have lots of joint ventures throughout the world, and they're likely to have more of those partnerships. And this is a quote from him. He says, I hope that in the future there may be more opportunities of mutual benefit. By the way, another example of Buffett kind of shaking things up and surprising people, he had long said that he wouldn't invest in technology companies because he didn't understand technology companies. He bought his first shares of Apple just about just over four years ago. That was back in May in 2016. So it just goes to show that when you think you know what he's going to do, he will change and dodge. And this is a, a pretty different uh, a take, a different move that a lot of people, I'm sure, would not have expected. Yeah, Becky, I mean, and going, announced, uh, going where the opportunities yeah, are, ahead, uh, also implicitly, um, I mean, a bet not just on Japan, but on global trade and on, you know, the, on Asia's imp mm -hmm. continued importance in, in all of that. Uh, it reminds me a little bit in the early yeah. 2000s, he bought a big stake in PetroChina, uh, which at the time was a very big departure. Right. And he had actually a very good trade. He sold it in, I think, 2007 or six. So, uh, you know, not the first time he's, he's in that part of the world, but it's definitely a, a new wrinkle in terms of his thinking, it seems.